I forgot what we were talking about. However, I found this tweet the other, last night and I looked at it and thought, this is the dumbest thing of all time and it could only be this company. Mm-hmm. And Ubisoft is developing Aye. Notre Dame on fire. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the game. <laughs> That's that. so fucking funny. We are escape the- game that will give the players a chance to save the Notre Dame Cathedral from the fire that broke out. <laughs> That's so mental. I'm not going to be playing as Arno the- <laughs> They had some group of people spend like a solid couple of months just building Notre Dame one to one scale. And they've just yeah. got this fucking piece of shit building asset that they've created. And they're like, we can't just use it for this one game surely with how much money we invested to make it let's it's use it everything they made that fucking year. eagle fly yeah. they made that fucking eagle flying game on it yeah, like let's just make up. a fucking what else can we do what else happened in Notre Dame oh, oh, there was that fire one time fire in 2019 let's capitalise on that yeah. Notre Dame let's capitalise on a tragedy you know, I'm kind of disappointed that this isn't canon to Assassin's Creed, and like it's <laughs> you're getting in an animus to relive the fire of the Notre Dame because what actually set it off was a Templar using a piece of Eden yeah. rock. James, and you got to find Layla, out what happened to Layla it. Layla needs to help the Notre Dame before it gets. I'm really surprised down. because how else are they going to sell this if they don't say it's connected to Assassin's <laughs> exactly. Creed? All, all, exactly. Exactly. All, all I'm saying is. Why are they making a VR firefighter like escape game <laughs> about about Notre Dame specifically being on fire? Oh my and god, that's so fucking random. It's Why random. Would you the do only that? reason it exists is because the Notre Dame was actually on fire three years ago. I know. That's so oh weird. My god, look at this reply to the tweet. It says, bruh, they finna make a game about saving their female employees from sexual assault lol. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What? <laughs> Oh, What's man. next? 9-11 VR game? <laughs> that actually exists. So. Yeah, 9-11 the Wait, game does what? exist. Yeah, there is a 9-11 VR game. 9-11 yeah. simulator. However, the fuck you play as someone in one of the offices, and then you just you, could, you just look out the like you and stand then, like, there you for throw like ten minutes, out. <laughs> and then like a plane hits the building. Yeah, it's fucking mental. To be quite yeah. honest oh, with you. Oh god. Yeah, there's a game about everything. It's a game about everything. I mean, the fact that there's Notre Dame burning down Ubisoft open world game. RPG, which is style RPG coming out. <laughs> How big is the Notre Dame if it's an open world game? Yeah, come on. It's big. It's one to one scale. It's, uh, it's one to one scale. This is the biggest Notre Dame. Notre Dame we have ever made Thing so is, far. <laughs> it's the biggest Notre Dame we've ever built. Thing is, though, wasn't the Notre Dame fire like not actually that dramatic? It was like part of it. I think they've rebuilt it. Now, it was just part of it, wasn't it? It was just part of it that went up. So I don't under, I don't understand what the fucking, what in the in the capitalism shit is going on. But you've got to you've got to make it over dramatic. They'll put in like civilians and things for you to either save or throw into the fire. And there'll be side quests, copious amounts of side quests. There'll be side quests. You'll have to get loads of collectibles from this burning building. Of course. As you know, that's an immersive firefighting game. And you game. also get the fantasy Notre Dame it's armor joke. if you 100% it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, the um, Notre Dame's looking all right in 2021, to be honest, or 2022, I guess. Notre Dame's looking sweet now, is it? Yeah, it's looking that's all right. Like... Yeah, that's okay because... Around that's around That's okay because sure. not even three uh, years ago, yeah. it was fucking on fire. <laughs> you know, yeah. so there you go. And now Ubisoft is going, mm, I'll have me some of that. Yeah, we have this one-to-one scale model of the Notre Dame. What the fuck should we do with it? Let's make a game about the Notre Dame burning down. What is fucking <laughs> gotta, wrong with them? It's a VR game. What is actually That's wrong actually with actually insane. Them? That's actually insane. Like, what? Just such a random fucking idea. Like, why would you make that game? I is just that don't... an article? Is there an article about it? Yeah, Ubisoft has partnered yeah. with Pathé to develop Notre Dame on fire. <laughs> <laughs> a location <laughs> based I, I VR escape it's game. Notre, Notre Dame, Dame on fire. fire. Based <laughs> on Jean-Jacques, Jean-Jacques Arnaud's <laughs> docudrama of the same name that will put players in the shoes of the Parisian Fire Brigade <laughs> as they try to save the world-famous cathedral from the fire that broke out in 2019. That's so that. funny. That's cool. I love Notre how Dame it's like... Fire. It's like they're talking about it like as if it's a historical event, like it was, you know, three years ago. Three years ago. As reported by Variety, this one hour experience will take players through the events of April 15th, 2019, (laughs) when flames nearly destroyed Notre Dame. Ubisoft is no stranger to working with the cathedral, as a detailed model of it it appears in Assassin's Creed Unity and in its short immersive VR experience, Notre Dame de Paris Journey Back in Time. So they've made two games (laughs) using the one to one scale model. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's that's why they're doing it. 
that's the only reason because they've got this thing that took them a year to fucking make and they're like yeah they're like what do we probably, do with it, it now it probably cost them like a million dollars just to build it in a game uh, honestly wait till, they sell it, um, wait till they sell it as an NFT let's just say that uh, this is where it gets even this is where it gets even funnier okay so their discussions began in early 2021 <laughs> and it was decided that since the film was set for release in March of 2022 Ubisoft knew they only had time to create a one-hour escape experience and could not make a full-fledged game. In such what? <laughs> they wanted to make a fully-fledged game? They wanted to make a fully-fledged game <laughs> How about do you Notre do that? Dame. What are they going to do? It's like, it's set in Paris and multiple times a day. The fucking Notre Dame sets on fire. <laughs> it keeps <laughs> setting on fire. Put it's it like out. nothing else happens, but sometimes it says, when you see smoke in the distance, you got to sprint across this open-world Paris <laughs> yeah, and parkour. stop the Notre Dame they, they, they from burning down. They put parkour in it and Everyone's like, oh, I'm so glad they brought back Unity's parkour. Oh my so god, they put the best parkour system of all time. Nothing happens, but an eagle flies about in a weird way. It's just being controlled by Eagle Flight VR. And and you've got to collect loads of stupid collectibles until Notre Dame and come oh, back. Man, so much. Like any escape oh. game, it's a question of puzzles and cooperating with your teammates. The idea is oh, to make your way on. through the cathedral to find relics and to <laughs> fight the fire. I, I really want to know what's fucking puzzling about the church being on fire, man. <laughs> are they gonna? Because because the, what are they gonna do? Like if they've got to make it into a puzzle, are they gonna like change what the Notre Dame looks like <coughs> on the inside? Because no, it's one like, to one scale. They can't one to one. So what the fuck is it? What, how are you gonna put fire? puzzles in it? I mean, there was puzzles in uh, Unity. There was underground passages in the Notre Dame. Maybe yeah. they'll be in. Be in <laughs> it. Yeah, I mean. But puzzles, right? So the place is on fire, and you're there doing like a jigsaw, loving life. By yeah, you gotta do like, it. Like, <laughs> how is that puzzling? Put out the Tetris. fucking fire. I mean, the I'm not a fire. Well, Ubisoft do own Tetris now, don't they? Oh, do, do they? they? Maybe they can put Tetris. Well, they in it. they made a Tetris game, didn't they? Ubisoft own Tetris. Right, the world is over. It's the just, fact just that we had it. that access really nourished our team. That doesn't mean we translated everything to gameplay. Rather, it offered our team food for thought for ad our adaptation. <laughs> Arnold's film will be available in French theaters initially in March, but Ubisoft's VR tie-in will be available worldwide in the same month. It's Notre Dame, so it's Paris, and it's a French movie, but this is a worldwide product, says Papier Nick. I don't know how to pronounce that name. We have 630 international partner locations, and all have access to our games. In March, they'll have access to this latest one as soon as we push the button. What does that mean? That's Do they know how to make games? They're like, look, we're just what we gotta we gotta push the button and everyone have access to the game. This is another <laughs> example of Ubisoft I, really yeah. leaning into the historic historical aspect. Of its game. I, I want to know, right? Um, <laughs> what right, liberties IGN. will they take with this? So Notre Dame was on fire in 2019. Can they do is, the they London Bridge like burning a, down? They're going to turn it into like a 9-11 scenario where loads of people are dying. And, and you have to yeah. figure out the puzzle and, of all the people And the dying. entire thing just explodes at once and it's just on fire. Can they do like, uh, all of the it. Guy Fawkes simulator? <laughs> Can they have to stop you know him what? from blowing up the House of Parliament? Oh, that'd be <laughs> sick. <laughs> and they've already that. got a one-to-one -one scale fucking... Yeah, they the need to use Parliament that as well. Come on, boys. That'll be a Ubisoft thing as well. That would be a that would be a Ubisoft really thing to do be. as well. They could do like oh, they, could do like the like, they could do it in like every like setting. You can do one with the with the pyramids. Yeah, any building that. that's there's ever like, been on fire. There's like someone robbing the pyramids <laughs> of Giza. Yeah, like someone's robbing the pyramids of Giza, and it's an escape game where you have to. <laughs> it's a VR escape <laughs> simulator where you have to <laughs> stop them from stealing oh, treasures oh, from the pyramids. Yeah. <laughs> and they could they could use the very real uh, statue of Zeus on uh, Kefalony Island. They can use that as well. That's real. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, imagine that on fire. The statue of Zeus His on cock is on fire. On fire. <laughs> You've got to stop the knob from burning off. Oh no! Statue no, of no, Zeus the on Kefalonia Island is on fire. The game. <laughs> and you have to escape out of his knob. <laughs> I want this game in my life now because it also has Stonehenge from Valhalla. Fire, but I can't because oh. it's Ubisoft. Oh man! Stonehenge would be a good one. You have to escape from Stonehenge. That'll be difficult to do. Oh, that'd be brilliant. Yeah. Away yeah. from. Away from the ridiculous side <laughs> of it because it is fucking yeah. stupid it's also just a little bit ridiculous isn't it it's so, a little bit insensitive did people it's a little bit on the insensitive fire? side no one died no one no. died but That's it's fine. like a, it's like it was like a it's like a historical landmark of you know that there was that probably brought great pride to france if you know what i mean yeah, um, I mean, not I that kind of pride it's a place of god but 
Um, I was the one that made it at Ubisoft, so... I, I imagine it'd be really like if, if Big Ben burnt down, I'm pretty sure we'd be a little bit uh, that, annoyed about that. I don't think we would, but that's because we're not... We don't... But you know, I would be. If Big, oh, ben, if Big ben, ben burnt down, down I'd be I'm, sort of I'm, disappointed. If Big yeah, Ben yeah. burnt down, I'd be I like, how the fuck? I mean, even though about. technically it's a big display of vanity and it's a completely useless building, but I'd still be upset because I like cool, Big though. Ben. Yeah, it's, I like you know, Big Ben. It's British. If it burnt down and Ubisoft made a game called Big Ben on Fire. Oh, <laughs> that'd be amazing. <laughs> I would just laugh about it. And then Big they released the fire. DLC, Jacob Fry Ruins the Economy, part two. <laughs> <laughs> he ruined the economy and I burnt down Big Ben on fire. <laughs> yeah, Jacob Fry burns down Big Ben and he has to escape in an escape simulation <laughs> VR game. <laughs> I, guess what I guess what I'm trying to say is, it just seems like a little bit... I don't, I don't know if they're going to sell this game or if they're just going to release it as an experience sort of thing. They're going to sell it, bro. It's Ubisoft. They'll probably sell it as Ubisoft. And but that's it's just free, capi- and unless all that money is going towards, you know, something that isn't Ubisoft, <clears throat> what's th- what? Why are they capitalizing on Notre Dame on fire? Well, they I, fucking I, I want to know everything. how that what that meeting I'd was. I'd love for them the to make it. Like, you know, let's fucking do this, and everyone's like, "That's a great." Uh, idea. We are French Canadian, <laughs> so we should do well, this. Going how many well, people on the fire? this went through before it became a thing? Um, Can I just like say work on this game? It went through a it's Ubisoft. Man. It like, was Eve Gimo who thought it up, and that was it. Like, like what, what normally happens at Ubisoft, though, is you've got like you know another woman to abuse. They got Notre Dame on fire. <laughs> you've got like the guy who comes up with the idea and there are people saying like i don't know if we should do this and they're just like they shout abuse at them and probably push them down the stairs yeah. and then make it anyway good idea that's that. like that's what happens More at like ubisoft good idea. in response to my quote retweet of uh ubisoft developing notre dame on fire um i said this might just be one of the dumbest game ideas of all time and somebody responded with, you know, put out that fire was really great after the patches. 